Hello and welcome to the after show of Babbles Travelling Yarns podcast with Bernie from Bear and Sheep's Clothing and our production manager Derek behind the scenes. He's waving. There's no point in waving, Derek. It's not pointing that way. Anyway. <laughs> So Bernie was kind enough to let myself and James stay when we were um, came up for Yarnfolk. We, it, um, it is now Sunday night, so Yarnfolk was on Saturday the 4th and it was great. Wasn't it great? Yes. I, I really enjoyed it. It yeah. was so much fun. Yeah. So it's, it's set in this little town of Whitehead and it's in about five? different places now i think there's five different yeah, yeah, yeah. centers I think so. or six five six six yes yeah. because there's a lighthouse and then there was like two church halls and there was a community center and then there was another one up a hill this time yeah yeah so myself and bernie were in the community center and it was super fun mm -hmm. yeah no it was really really good it's a lovely atmosphere yeah it's yeah. just pure and there's like people came from everywhere really it was yeah. so lovely and it was really busy actually, never really stopped. I got about two seconds to like, actually I got relief for about half an hour and I literally ran, I bonded around. So all of the footage that you've seen is me basically panting, trying not to pant too loud on camera, being like. <laughs> 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 so I hope you enjoyed having a look at it. And Bernie wasn't there when I went around to her stand because she was doing her run around. I got to two halls, just... Oh, like, I know, she didn't even get to mine and we were in the same so hall. Yeah, yeah. So rude. Mm -hmm. So, I want to see what you got. Oh, well, I was... Show me. I was very restrained. I only got to two halls and I was mainly talking to people. So, I got yeah. uh, this beautiful skein of hand spun by Pretty Funky Fibres. Oh. And look at the colours in that. Maybe not, uh, oh, it's, actually, you I think it's pretty good, yeah. actually. Yeah. It's, it's a, there's quite a lot of orange and reds and, and purples purple. and blues. Yeah. yeah. So, oh my gosh. Iron weight, 100 grams. I got some of hers as well. I got some Rolex of hers. And this was her first show, was wasn't her first it? Show. Yeah. So, it was her first public. Yeah. Starting her business. There. Yeah, yeah. <gasps> so pretty. So I got my colors. So she sells hand spun yarn. She sells art yarn, um, like art bats. If you right. saw those beautiful ones, that's what she loves. She loves doing those. And these beautiful Rolex. So she's pretty funky fiber. And we love her. Yes. We love her a lot. Helen and Robin. Helen and Robin. We do. So lovely. So lovely. We hope to see them at loads more shows. We will. Because that'll be great. Yeah. We'll have a great crack then. So that was great. Yes. Awesome. Yay, we bought from the same people. Yay. Yay. <laughs> I didn't notice all the art stuff because I was like, yeah, scared. it's kind of the su stuff on the side. She mm. had it kind of, yeah, it's gorgeous. I, I actually really wanted to buy some for weaving. I think it'd be gorgeous, like woven in because she's got those like beehives and stuff. And it's just such excellent texture. But I, that need to, is I need to learn to spin or weave or something. Yeah, well, I mean, you know, you, you do a lot all the time. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, that's true. So what else did you um, get? I went up and met the lovely John Arbin. That was his first time and at Yard Folk. Oh, oh, John and Juliet. Yeah. It was so nice to meet them as well for the yeah. first time. Yeah. So I got one skein of Harvest, um, which is dyed uh, Falkland Merino, it's Wardables of Exmoor, and it's four ply. And it's like, uh, what's it called? Russet? Yeah, it's more of a kind of a warm, Actually, that's not a bad colour on no, the I'm, screen, I know. do you know? It's, yeah. it's not bad. Because we're, we're doing this like late at night because you yeah. know, kiddos need to be asleep. Yeah, the crazy kiddos that stayed up until way past 11. Yeah, well, <laughs> they do that when there's new people and new mm -hmm. things and exciting things. And I'm just too exciting. I'm sorry, Bernie. You definitely are. Definitely. But um, yeah, so Merino and Zwart Plus, nice. How do you pronounce it? it? Everybody says it differently, but apparently the Dutch call it Zwart Bliss. And then the Irish farmers down south are just like Zwartbles. 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 I don't know. They're black yeah. sheep with a big white flash down the face. They're so cute. They're big sheep as well. They're huge. I got a whole fleece of one. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. We got it from um, the Rare Breed Show that I did. Cool. Like so that's so I've never run it with it before, so. I have got a whole, I have about, a, my plan was, I, I went to see them 
in December last year. See the... I went to see the mill. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah because John James Irving. lives... Yeah. Oh, right. Because James lives like, just down the road. So we went over for Christmas and my plan is just to go back every year and spend loads of money. I think it's a great idea. Yeah. <laughs> my yeah, bank account doesn't do. think so. But uh, <laughs> yeah. I, I ended up buying a hap of this Harvest Shoes, I think, in, in a kind of the the more yellowy colour. And I got like reds and this kind of oranges to go with it. I think I got like, so for a big hap. That'd be cute. Yeah. That'd be really nice. I think they, I just went up the last minute on the last, yeah. well, it's only one day, but yeah, the last minute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I wanted like a yellow to go with it, but oh, yeah. there was none on the same Oh, base. in the base. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I thought I would just mix it with one of go. mine or something else. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's lovely. Mm. I got something from them as okay, well. Let's see. So I have never bought from mm. them in the show. I've only bought straight from the mill. Uh, like, yeah. And then I just go mad at the mail because there's no one else to distract me. So, but this time I bought fiber for the first time. So I bought this huge oh Look at the color of this blue. Oh my goodness. And don't ask me what type it is. That's the problem. I don't know. I think there is Fort Bliss in it. Uh, and then there's like some, oh, it's just the prettiest. I don't care what's in it. I just love it. <laughs> So this is what's in the big buckets. Mm, yeah, because this I is love what's in the big buckets. Look at the have. buckets, but I know that it doesn't like it's apply to me. You. So it's I'm like, I can't look in the buckets. So this is <laughs> free spun. So uh, uh, this is, I think this is one of the harvest hues uh, colors. It's like the teal that they have. That's um, so nice. Because because they have the mill, they can just like take it off the machines at any point in the process. So this is three hundred grams. Oh, that's yeah, oh, I can't actually so feel good. <laughs> and then I had to get this one because it was beside it. It's so silky oh, and shiny. Derek's nodding in the back. He's spinning over there. We'll have to show you that in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm thinking of putting them together. Mm. I don't know how. I might do some sort of striping situation. Or I could blend, but I'm not going to blend. 300. This is 200 grams. This is 300 grams. So that's definitely a sweater. You can definitely get a sweater out of 500 oh, right. grams of fiber. Cause it's just 500 grams, you yeah, know? Yeah. So you, it, depending on how you spin it, mm. and I'm tending to spill really fine at the moment, which is annoying me. Oh, was it? I yeah, was because uh, it is, I suppose, but it means that I have to spin longer to get as much fiber to ply together to make a thicker wool. So if I was able to spin thick, thicker singles, I could then ply it together and make like a DK weight oh, really right, quickly right. with yeah, two yeah. plies. Instead, if I spin really fine, I'm gonna have to ply like three, four plies together. So I end up spinning like a thousand meters, but you only get 250 meters of yarn out of that. Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Whereas if I could spin a thousand meters of a thicker single, then I would get 500 meters of DK instead of having to double it or quadruple it. Yeah. So it's a pain in the bum really. I'm just so great. It's hard. <laughs> it's hard sometimes. <laughs> oh, I really must. No, I really do want to. But then you yeah. just, I want you just to put your hand in this. Okay. It won't bite, I promise. <laughs> There's your drop spindle. <laughs> That's why it's a drop spindle. What the heck? Put it out, put it out. This is a mix of alpaca and silk. It's 50-50. Oh my god. I think this alpaca, oh my god, it's so good. <laughs> it's just like a cloud. It literally is. Feel it, feel it. Oh, <laughs> it's gonna be wow. really slippy to spin with, but oh, it's just so, it's so, soft. so soft. I think maybe plying it with one of those other ones might be interesting. Mm. I don't know. And no. when I saw those boxes and I saw like 100 grams was 350 or 450 or 650, this was 650 because it has the alpaca and silk, um, but it's still 100 grams of fiber is 650 as opposed to, you know, the full price of a yeah. skein of yarn. I totally. You're just like, I can't not. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> totally luxurious. It just, you know, takes you much longer, but it's just, it's the process I love. So I don't see the, the alpacas 
going to be warm and then mm. silk is pure luxury. I know. So you're going to make like a fancy shawl or something? Yeah, fancy shawl. I'm very fancy. So <laughs> you're so fancy. Makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think I just really like those three colours, like mm. the blue and then that white is really quite nice. I'm going to keep it in that because um, it's quite um, delicate. So I don't yeah. want to get it mixed up and I don't want the fibres mixing up. But oh, isn't this I can't wait to see what nice. you do with these, so I'll be keeping a It'll very close eye. A while. Wouldn't it be lovely to do like another kimono or a t-shirt? To spin it and weave it into a t-shirt? Because we were just talking about that earlier, about what you can do with the triangular pieces and weaving. Um, because it weaving does eat up your yarn very quick. The rectangular pieces? Yeah. When you said triangular. <laughs> it's, a, it's a new loom I'm inventing. <laughs> Yes, thank you. Oh, that's okay. See, it's this is why it's good to do it with two people <laughs> because they can pick up. Because normally I pick it up when I'm editing, and I'm like, Grace, you're an idiot. <laughs> I I could put the sometimes I pick put writing on there, but I don't watch podcasts. I can I put it down and I listen to them as I'm doing my business. So then I'm like, oh, she said a complete something completely <laughs> wrong. Oh, what a fool. And yeah, that's so yeah. Oh, no problem. <laughs> so, that's my fiber. Oh, I also, what else did I buy? Okay, so I bought two other things. Is that all you bought? It is. Just two skeins. You're so good. I'm so good, but I regret it. Um, like regret not Re buying more? Regret, really regret. Like I want to cry in my gym. Oh, <laughs> that's okay. Gym does not make you cry, so. Oh, I heard that recently. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Apparently, it doesn't make me cry, it doesn't makes me really me. happy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so there was a guy next door to us and he was a wood turner. And I saw his stuff and I was like, I've been looking for a nostopinna, which is basically just called, it's yarn stick in Norwegian. I think that's what Ellie said. Anyway, right. so I bought one. So this is basically a yarn winding um, stick. It's beautiful. It's cherry, Bally Easton. It's felled. It was felled by the snow in 2010. Oh, that's oh, so cool. Oh, it gives you little destructions. Nostopinna, cherry wood. So um, I wanted a kind of a light one. Uh, so I mostly um, unwind, like hand wind balls from when I'm spinning because I come to the end of two bobbins and I always have some of the single ply left on one bobbin. Um, so I... On, I wind that off into a single, uh, like a center pull ball, and then I ply the two together because I hate leaving stuff on the bobbin. It's just like, no, I spun that, you're gonna be yarn. That's it. So, so I'm really glad I got that. I've been looking for one of these for ages, and now I got an Irish hewn one from Fell by the Snow, Fell by the snow <laughs> in 2010. It looks so like a, a magic wand. It does as well, actually. <laughs> it really does. Yes, yeah. <laughs> It was it's like a small little stubby wand. Yeah, you know, Derek was thinking it was <laughs> a Harry Potter wand. <laughs> we guard you, love you. I love it. I love it. So that's my not to finish slash I wand. Love this. I just, it's and it, I, it's so comfortable yeah. to hold. Yeah. Ooh. Now I can't remember his name. I know Derek's what got it. What was his name? I'm gonna put it on the screen. I'll definitely put it on the screen. I have a card. I have several of his cards. Um, and we'll definitely put it on screen. And he does have a shop. I think he does. Do you remember? Ch is it something cherry? No. His, his name is Soft Ash Crafts. Soft wow, Ash. Soft Ash Crafts. Thanks. Soft Ash Crafts, that is exactly what it is. Because Derek Soft was dying to get over crafts. and then yeah. he was got it that I, I didn't realize how far it was to get up to that, oh, yeah. up to John Urban. Yeah, it was yeah, quite yeah. a trick. It's, it was, it a was beautiful. a steep hill. Once you got up, uh, it was Oh, the it view was over the bay was just gorgeous. Yes, and you could hear the blues because it was like a... Yeah. There was like a, a music beer. and beer festival, wasn't there? At the there? same time, mm -hmm. I, so you could hear yeah. the blues and you could see the sea and it was just like... Gorgeous. Really worth it at the Did end. Did you get distracted by this? No, no, I literally no. was rushing. I was rushing. <laughs> I, I literally was rushing about, but I was chatting to people and then... Yeah, yeah, yeah. By the time I got back, everybody was packing up and... I know. Derek was gutted, <laughs> so... Well, you just have to go and get him. Aye. He's, he's, he's following him on Instagram now, so we'll see. Oh, good, good. good. Mm. So. Yeah. I'm on another Yeah. Definitely. You so this is that a, one you'll need this is a drop. Well, it's not a drop spindle, because I got a supported spindle. Yes. 
So this is the supported spindle. So it's like a bottom whorl and this is the little pot that you put it in. So you basically spin it on there. Mm -hmm. Whee! Um, so you leave that on a table and you just spin away on the table or you can put it on the floor um, and it just um, it just stops the, the dropping really uh, the droppings I mean you can use it as a drop spindle as well but I don't think I think I just want all the different types I want a, a collection, collection of all the different types of spindles <laughs> I've got a massive Turkish one but I want a small Turkish one next I think there's always more to collect, isn't there? Ah, uh, there's wee stone ones that uh, oh, yeah. John from the Mulberry Dyer, John and Debbie. Oh yeah, you met them at Fiber East. Uh, yeah. They're, yeah, they're so amazing. Like, yeah. Um, she's a natural dyer, and all the all the colours that she could get were just unreal. Oh, yeah. You need, and she, they've been doing it for years, haven't yeah. they? They've got like yeah. twenty years experience in natural dyeing. When I saw that Instagram post of yours, I could not believe the depth of the colour that they got. Yeah. They were like acid dyes, like yeah. they really were. Oh totally. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Sickening. Oh so good. Sickening. But yeah he yeah. made he made all the different types of spindles that have been oh, used all through historically, the historically yeah. And there was lovely like wee stone ones. So what were they again? Mulberry The Mulberry Dyer. The Mulberry Dyer. Mm -hmm. I've got to get onto them. Yeah. Just keep twisting it now. And like That's so spinning. nice. Lizzie. It's so nice. Yeah. So that one. Let's see what yarn, what wood that oh, is. Oh, the story maybe. Uh, mahogany, cherry, and oak supported spindle and bowl. Mm. So this is oak, this is cherry, and this is mahogany. Beautiful. It's the darkest. Yeah. So oh, that oak is so lovely. Nice. Ah, so pretty. That is absolutely stunning. Isn't it gorgeous? Mm. And then, of course, I've got one more purchase mm -hmm. from a very special dyer. I'm so excited. So this is my final runaround. I got this beautiful kit. <laughs> so it is this beautiful design by Albina, or uh, LB Hand Knits. It's a gorgeous vest with this lacy um, kind of modesty panel, I suppose, but it's just absolutely stunning. So it's got quite a lot of um, increases around the hips, which is perfect for someone with a, you know, body, which works like a human. So we have the sample here. <laughs> it's funny you should say that. <laughs> because it's knit in Bernie's Bear Luxury Base, which I'm just... You asked about that after, Eric. <laughs> I did, yeah, I did. So it's got this gorgeous little drop frill, which is so nice. And then look at this lace. Come up here now. Come up here a little bit closer. So the lace is really, really adjustable. You can actually change it to be like higher or lower as you want it. It's all in the pattern. And then you've got this lovely little, is this an I-cord? It's kind of an I-cord, isn't uh, yeah. it? It's, like it's an, lovely, isn't it? It's just the prettiest little thing. I it's know. just so lovely. And the colour. <gasps> so I got the exact same colour. I love the colour. This comes in the kit. And it comes in 100% biodegradable packaging. Much, much approved. So this colour is called Truffle and Ivory? No, Tusk. Tusk. Mm. Tusk. Well, I, 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 I like your name. Simple, <laughs> effective. So the base is... Explain. Bear Luxury. Bear Luxury. Yeah, so it's 50% mulberry silk and 50% uh, Falkland Merino. I'm just checking you up here. I'm just checking you. Yeah. Just make sure. <laughs> That's good. <idea. laughs> so I'm so happy with that. So you get a code with the... Oh! Oh yeah, and I got a little... I got a little bear pin, bear <laughs> cheese clothing. I missed this. I missed out on this in one of you see. I was wondering why Cody not have that. Yeah, no, I don't have I didn't have it. Oh. I have like one of your buttons from um, a while ago. Mm. But I was I really wanted these new ones that she has. They're little bears and they're little shiny. Oh, I love it. So that's very exciting. So yeah, and you get a little download code. Ah oh it could be too late by the time this goes out, but there was a Ravelry code. But anyway. No, it's not. Now you just have to buy it full price because it's so beautiful. There's yes. another version, isn't there? A stripey version? Uh, I, I didn't yeah. think, but maybe, oh, yeah. maybe our, our, our production could maybe assistant <laughs> could maybe go and uh, get that one. Because it's gorgeous. It's like um, like a, with tusk and your kind of minty... Fresh. Fresh, mm. yeah. The minty colour. It's Aye. gorgeous. And with yes. the, it's cheaper actually to buy the, the striped version because oh, you, you have enough yardage 
to make even the largest size and have enough for the lace as well. Oh, I see. So, so you're so not buying an extra little an extra bit mini. Oh, mini skein. Yeah. I see. Mm. Actually, that's a good idea. Mm. Yeah, yeah. I quite oh. like the striped one as well. The striped one is quite nice. Yes, 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 but yes, I, yes. I absolutely love yours. I know. The minty one is lovely as well, though. They're just, to be honest, all of the kits are gorgeous. And they're all on your website now, aren't they? Yeah. Some of them? Yeah. On the Etsy. ones that are left over. Yeah. Yeah. On Etsy. Yes, 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 yes. yes. So what we've been doing. Oh, we have it there. We have it. Isn't it great having a production Thank you. assistant? It is actually. I like it a lot. <laughs> so this is the... <laughs> Keep rolling. Oh, sorry. So this one has a slightly higher um, kind of um, panel at the front. So the panel comes a bit higher. So, and that's just, you basically, she was explaining it to me, like you just keep you just keep working the the chart that you, you're given in the pattern. It's really easy to adjust that. And it's just like these subtle stripes. I love it. So summery, so silky. Mm. And I love the drape on it. It's I know. And it's just, oh, it, it's in, I know, there's little eyelets at the bottom, yeah. Yeah, if you can see that, there's little eyelets at the bottom which give it a lovely little flair, little delicate flair. Yeah, oh. and the ruffles are like, they're going to be flattering on any yeah. body. Yeah, definitely, definitely. <laughs> and it's kind of like an Albina, you know. Totally. She has like her, her little signature, signature her little kind of the, the way it shapes. Yeah. Just kind of falls on the body really nice. Yeah. And, and yeah. she loves ruffles. She does love ruffles. Yeah, so uh, everybody loves ruffles. Yes. Sure. I mean, who doesn't like ruffles? I don't trust him. I don't no. trust the people who don't like ruffles. <laughs> <laughs> But it just feels, this feels so cool oh. and silky because it is 50% silk. So that would do it. That would do it. And it's a, it's a single space. Yeah. 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 Beautiful. Yeah. So you get, so actually I like that. Um, I like that you're using it without sleeves. Yeah. Because I find that then it's going to be much like less, you know, likely to wear if you've got two knitted panels constantly going mm. against each other. Sleeveless designs are much better for singles. Singles, yeah. Yeah. Singles garments. And it's different as well. It's different. From yeah, it's very different. Cool. It's beautiful. But you have a gorgeous pattern design, <gasps> yes. Alvina, too, don't you? She took some of my yarn. I'm totally honoured because I still feel like I don't know what I'm doing. That's fine. I think everybody feels everybody like that. Everybody feels probably. like that. We're all, so. we're all winging it, really. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Okay, so. The pattern Albina has designed for me. So Albina is LB Hand Knits. That's her Ravelry um, and Instagram. And she's not everywhere as LB yeah. Hand Knits. She's a really good blog as well. I think her most recent post is all about like yoke design. Mm. Really interesting. So this is a pale fire. <laughs> and this is knit out of my uh, Merino sock base. So this is, and in the colorway Ivy, which is quite appropriate I think because perfect. of this lace section up the side now I think this would work really well with like a tonal like a tonal and a really light speckle as well yeah but the the lace is so simple and it just goes up e both sides and then it kind of splits in underneath the arm I don't know how she does it um, how can you show like magic it I know to so good effect. okay yeah you hold the you hold the sleeve up <laughs> <laughs> so this is the side of the body coming down and then it kind of splits into so this good. cross here up into the raglan um decrease or increases because it's a top down garment and then all the way down the arms there so it just has this really like subtle flash of texture yeah i really like it and yeah. then this beautiful little i-cord edge as well which gets me every time <laughs> i just love i-cord edging it's yeah. just the sweetest it's so neat like so this is the fingering weight version of a pale fire it is when you buy the pattern you actually get two patterns she was saying you get the dk weight pattern and the fingering weight because um there's a slightly different chart or the the lace has to be adjusted for the um for the DK. Mm. So it's a really good value. You can also do a lot of adjustments. She's added in adjustments for the neck to lower the neck or raise the neck. Um, you can also do as many sle you know, sleeves, um, sizes mm. as you want as well. And you can add shaping either side. I think she's added in shaping into the garment, which you would need on these sides, um, just because you've got this all this lace going on. So yes, so pretty. Thank you, Albina. 
She's just the best. She is. She's the best. She is, actually. Yeah. And she's, <clears> um, <throat> when I'm, I've got a couple of new bases coming up, she was, she was like, let me know immediately when you have them. I was like, she's just so full of ideas. Yeah. Full of ideas and creativity. And she just knows how to create a garment. She can just whip one up. She can look at you and just make something. I, you're like, the kind of, how does she do it? I, I know. Ugh. It's different for everyone and sits exactly what, you exactly. know. Exactly. It kind exactly of brings what you need. Yeah. Yeah. Like you were, you were saying this is the ivory colorway. Yeah. And it looks like creeping ivy yeah. up the side. Yeah. 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 So, um, yeah, she saw the, I think she saw the ivy colorway on somewhere and she contacted me and she was like, I have the perfect design for it. Oh, amazing. Come at me. So it's a beautiful design. It's gorgeous. <laughs> bit of excitement going over there in the corner. A little bit of beautiful spin going on. What sort of... Um, can I have a look at that? What is it? Oh, what, what kind of... So it's a spindle. But did you make it? Or... No, I bought it at Nottingham Yarn. Oh. Nice Do you remember where you're from? No. I remember so it's kind of... It's wooden, is it? Yeah. Yes, it is wooden. Ah. It's a little bit broken too. Oh, well. <laughs> And you keep stopping it. <laughs> I fix it. I fix it. Oh, brilliant. That was so easy. <laughs> you didn't see what you did. I'm really good at fixing it. Fixing things. Oh, it broke He's again. really good at breaking things. <laughs> <laughs> so that was Yarn Folk. It was so much fun. It was. It's perfect. Yeah. I've just spent the, the today actually, we just went on a big Game of Thrones tour because we're up here and we just had such a great time. So, uh, and then tomorrow we're going to head to the Titanic Museum. There's just so much to do up here. We don't really get much of a chance to, to come up really when we're down south because I'm kind of quite far down the southwest coast. It takes about five hours to drive up here which in Ireland terms is a long That's way. a long way, yeah. Uh, I know some people will drive five hours to the nearest shop. Okay, don't talk to me, Central Australia, or <laughs> fucking Mississippi or wherever you are. <laughs> you but for us, it's a lot. <laughs> but for us, uh, it is a lot. Norm, like, Ireland's a small island, mm. so from going from top to bottom is actually a big deal. Yeah. Um, at least it was good roads. It was like motorway all the way up. Aye. And like Whitehead is really easy to get to if you're even not driving. If you come into Dublin, or you can actually get, what is it, the train, train up to train. Belfast and then yeah. there's another train straight out to Whitehead. So yeah. that's really handy. It is well. actually. And there's just so much to do out here. Like, I'm not going to be able to see all the things I wanted to see in four days, which for one city break, is actually like normally plenty of time right but there's just so much i want to do i want to go to the folk museum the ulster folk museum can't get a chance to do that i want to go to the ulster museum where they've got the game of thrones tapestry but it's closed on monday so i'm like damn it you know so next yeah. time come we'll come early yeah and then yes yeah yeah we won't stay with you for the whole time but you know book our bed in <laughs> So I just wanted to ask you what you're knitting oh, on because it's well, so pretty. I'm still knitting on the same thing, so. Because um, I think I first saw you knitting on this at my retreat in yeah, April. Yeah, a long so time ago. Sorry. I'm just, date, I'm just dating you and making you. You're so close to finishing. <laughs> accountability is called accountability. Isn't it? Um, yeah, I am close to finishing. So it's the Izumi sweater from I one of the saw pom -poms. this. At Edinburgh 2017. Oh, right. It had just been released, I think. Oh, and it so was in good. this deep green. Yes. Oh, uh, I think Look it, at this lace. Oh. The original was in a Malibu Go. Oh, yeah, green. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, this is your own yarn. Yeah. And there, hold on, I'll show the sleeve detail on the one sleeve oh. that has it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, it has this gorgeous lace. This is it gorgeous? Oh, I love it. So, I'm almost the at that point. Detail. No, so once it starts to lace, so? I'll be yeah. Yeah, you'll be you'll be home free because you can see it growing there, uh, and you'll feel like you're nearly there. Yeah. So this is your Wensleydale base. Yes. So it's, so it's bare rustic be super DK. warm. Mm. Bare rustic DK weight. Yeah. It is so beautiful. Show me the ball. I'm so bossy. Sorry. <laughs> but it's <laughs> it's like shining. I know it's so. There's luscious. so because Wensleydale is a very long lock which gives it real beautiful shine when you spin with it and it's spun worsted this is definitely spun worsted i can't wait to see how it's going to block out and stuff that lace is going to be incredible when it blocks out did you shoot out. the back <gasps> no i didn't it's 
so it goes all the way down. It's going to be so good. I just love a bit of sh shoulder detail. Oh, like, so. yeah. So nice. Mm. So you pick up and what type of neck? Is it just ribbing or is I it done? Know. I am not one of these like read ahead. Oh, <laughs> types. okay, 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 okay. <laughs> So I'm just be... a wing it kind of girl. Oh, I like it. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> I assume it's just ribbon, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I think. Probably. Yeah. Now you'll find out. Yep. It's a surprise. <laughs> How exciting. <laughs> yeah, you're in, you're own, you choose your own adventure, patches. <laughs> choose your own um, terrible decisions that you made a long time ago that you can't fix, them, which is mine. mainly mine. That's my, that's my one. You need your bed, you lie in it, it's my dice. That's it. That's <laughs> it. Well, you've got to deal with it now. Mm -hmm. I like so. the way this is, see the way that the ribbon has changed, you know, so it works oh, with the lace. Oh, yeah. Isn't that good? So you've got like 10 here and then one yeah. and then two. And, oh, that's lovely. Mm. That is really nice. Is there anything at the bottom? No, it's just a plain. It's just, yeah. It's just plain mm -hmm. at the bottom. I mean, there's so much going up on top, so it's nice. Yeah. So that's just a plain rib down the bottom. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, so close pretty. to the finishing, finishing line. You can do it, you can do it. I will. Yes. Yeah, but I did feel the whole sleeve of doom mm -hmm. thing. I know. They just sometimes get us deep. They just go on forever. <laughs> deep in our souls. I think, yeah, it's the, the magic ribbon as well slows you right down. I know, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I got you to change to a smaller needle, but it still wasn't small oh, enough. It's not small yeah, enough. No, no, no. no, but I think it is helping a wee bit. So. Yeah, yeah. Well, I tried my best. <laughs> <laughs> what are you knitting? Or oh, I'm knitting my body of doom, which will never end. No, actually, I am flying it. I have I? seen it grow yeah, in, in this okay. couple of days. So. Well, it's Aran Weight yarn, which probably is that reason. Mm. So this is James's jumper. So James's jumper is a pattern which I am designing from kind of other pattern designs. No way. Well, yeah, because I didn't find any that I liked. Seriously? <laughs> you neglected to tell me that the whole I'm time. Sorry, I just wanted to impress you this once. No. <laughs> so basically the idea was that I wanted to knit him a family sweater, a family, but they didn't, or I wanted to get him a family Aaron sweater. So each, um, I went through this in the last podcast, Bernie, if you've Sorry, watched. I, I haven't been watching. Whatever, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Zero time. Like. I know, coming oh. up to Yarn Folk. And you had two shows. You had Five Reese and Yarn Folk. Okay, yeah. I'll let you off this one. And, and you sing how hard it was to get the kids to bed, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I appreciate <laughs> I appreciate it. <laughs> That's why I'm like exhausted I know, and slurring with tiredness. <laughs> That's what makes creativity happen. I love the central Yes, cable. so the idea behind this is okay. the Doherty crest is a stag in the middle. It's so stag. Yeah. Like, yeah. So in the Aran sweater market pattern, it has three separate stag motifs, but they're kind of a bit bulky and they've got like bobbles and I'm like, I'm not having bobbles, I'm a man. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe bobbles are for like, bubbles either. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, I don't know if you know. Oh, really? <laughs> I don't think, I wouldn't like it, but yeah, I'll give him mastage, but nothing bumpier than mastage. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so then, um, so I kind of came, I kind of found this pattern in a stitch dictionary. So it kind of has these sloped diamonds, elongated sloped diamonds. So when you actually wear it, it kind of comes out. Let's mm, see if I can, yeah, yeah that's how you yeah, do it. Totally. So you can see there's like, shows up really well. yeah, it does. You've got to catch it at the right light. Mm. Um, and I found some cool little things today when we were going around. It was like this little sticker, um, which showed you what the different um, cables meant. So I think the, the just the twisted cable is actually a sign for like rope, like your strength of your ropes for, you know, success at fishing or something, I don't know. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, and yeah, so the stag in the center is for Doherty for his um, family sweater, and I'm doing it front and back in the round. Uh, huh. Same front and back, and I think since um, maybe so today's Sunday, I think I put this in on Thursday. So that's good. Thursday or Friday maybe. So I had a whole trip up to do. Um, to knit, um, yeah, so I probably need to do another th four or five inches and then I need to decide on what I want to do next. If I want to do sleeves, 
do them both together coming up and then join them in the round and do like a raglan decrease or keep going up and do and and split for the sleeves and do like front and back separately mm. and then tie out the shoulders and then pick up the sleeves and knit the sleeves down i have to decide that in the next couple of inches I, I can't believe this. I have mm -hmm. no idea what I'm going to do. Which is why it's adventurous. Winging it. <laughs> Winging it! Yeah. So that's that. It is coming on. And it's so good. The only problem that I'm having, and I think this is actually to do with the 200, 300 skeins that I winded up in front of the in front of like TV, trying to time myself to get it done fast. I can time myself now. My, my fastest... Sorry, my throat. <coughs> More gin. I was timing myself to try and do it fast because I was running out of time very fast. Yeah. Like I was still skeining. I still had 30 skeins of yarn to do on Friday and we were leaving at like three o'clock on Friday. I was like, oh, <sighs> tag box in. <sighs> so yeah, to get it from kind of crumpled mess to cut off all the ties into a nice skein, one minute and 13 seconds. That's the fastest I can do it. My average was about one minute, 30 seconds. Amazing. Mm. I wouldn't even have an idea. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't recommend it because I think I did hurt my, do you think you could do it faster? No. <laughs> I don't know. I think we should all have a competition and damage ourselves. No, oh don't, God, don't no. do that, don't do that. No, because we're kind of like to do as a goal. My winders. wrists are kind of a bit <laughs> sore now. So, and then I was doing a lot of the knitting and I'm knitting, I forgot to mention this in the podcast, but I'm knitting this without a cable needle. So there's a bit of fiddling and foostering and the yarn is lovely. Uh, it's quite thick though and I am I think I'm quite a tight cable. Well, the cables are tight anyway when you're knitting I would find, them. I would find them quite hard on me. That's the yeah. only thing I find hard on my hands. Yeah, so my, like I have, so I'm a, I'm a English flicker. So this, this part of my hand is quite sore. So I should probably slow down a little bit mm. but if I'm on this much of a roll with this I might finally get it finished and be able to cast on a jumper for me which is what I really want in life <laughs> more things knit for myself <laughs> anyway yeah. so that is the only thing but I'm imagine working. how proud he's going to be of, better, of his stuff you better wear it <laughs> you better wear it and you better yeah. not run off with anyone else because the boyfriend curse the boyfriend sweater curse Oh, have you heard it? No. Yeah, so if you apparently knit, I really shouldn't be doing this. Maybe I won't finish it until I get a ring. <laughs> or just make a vest. Oh, a vest. Oh yeah, because so then it's not a jumper. It's not a jumper. It's not a sweater. So. Good idea. And no sleeves. I like this idea a lot. I think I did promise him sleeves. Oh, I don't know what I promised him. Things can change. Make a vest and then knit sleeves and then tell him how to sew them on. So you've technically not oh. done it. Anyway, so I don't think we're in that much danger of the sweater curse, so we're all right. We're not going to be the, the uh, superstitious, no. <laughs> superstitious Irish. Oh, I think our second date, so uh, there's this Polish tradition that if you buy your boyfriend's shoes, he'll walk away. So on our second date, I bought him a pair of work shoes because he had an interview. So, you know, we're three years down the line, so it can't be that bad. It's all right. <laughs> Derek bought me a watch, but I think he put a penny in it because it, there's that oh, situation yeah. that you're yeah, putting if, time on it. Yeah, oh yeah, you'll, you'll run out time of time. On it, yeah. yeah, but he put a penny in it, which like dampens it. A penny you, in it? In the in box? In the box with the... Oh, with okay. The, so maybe if you like... Put a penny on it? Sew a penny in it. Oh, I like that. Yeah. And, you know, isn't penny for luck as well, if I find one? I think you're... Like, yeah. If yeah, you, right. If you find a penny and sew it in. Is it maybe this that you're paying off the bad luck? I don't know what the actual... Nice. Of the penny yeah, let's believe that. Anyway. I believe yeah. that because it's all about belief. It doesn't really matter what it is, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so that's what we're making. Well, thank you so much, Bernie. I can't believe. I know it's that like the middle of the night, that, and yeah. Um. Yeah. Well, I, hopefully, I'm gonna write it up. <laughs> I say this all the time. Uh, no, but you, sh you really should. But I, it's I not. Really like it's it. actually really easy. I'm not bringing around the pattern. It's like it's actually quite easy to follow. But it's lovely. It it's, is. Isn't sometimes it? I find. Over cable too things much. too much, and but I think it, it doesn't just... seem quite yeah. And um, I really love the moustache. I well. know it's so effective, mm. isn't it? And I love the way it does this kind of 
diagonal thing. Uh, I don't know if you can see uh, it. I know I don't see it there light, here. You can see it's kind of doing this like cross hatchy diagonal thing. It is a bit of a pain to do, but you just get into a rhythm and it's fine. So it's a double moss stitch. If you can see, it's every second row it changes the pattern. So you're like, you knit one purl one, knit one, purl one, and then go back and you follow that. So you do, so you have two knits in a row and then two purls and then you swap then. So you get this lovely little, um, it's not seed stitch, uh, it's moss stitch. Now I know moss stitch has several different terms and words all over, so yeah. Right. It's this. And I'm sorry if it's the wrong word that I use, but it's the word that I'm using. <laughs> I've decided that that's what it is. <laughs> so yeah, I think we're both great, to be honest. Winging it. I think you should call this episode just winging, winging it. it. I like it. Mm. Deal. High five. And cheers. And cheers. Cheers. Mm, this is an empty gin glass now. Oh, okay. Cheers. It's probably bad luck. <laughs> mm. There was that minute, so we're all right. Thanks for joining us. But I don't have any bad jokes. Oh, what? Do you have any bad jokes? Um, I put you on the spot now. I have one. I used it on my Instagram though. Is that okay? No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> this is my favorite bit. What happened? Oh, it kind of, it kind of like applies to you anyway. What? So what happened to the cat that ate yarn? Serious surgical issues later on in life. I don't know. <laughs> it had mittens. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine if you had mittens. That would save me so much trouble. We can knit him some. <laughs> I mittens. See, that cat seriously needs a lot of knitwear. But I'm too busy knitting this giant, giant man sweater. You can't make him knitwear. He's like a black cat in a heat wave. <laughs> It'll be cold eventually. Oh, yeah. James keeps finding things on Pinterest. And like, whatever he looks at, uh, he's just like, can you make this for beans? I'm like, yes. But what about this one? Yes, definitely. What about this one? Yes. And it never happened. But like a mermaid tail. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Tiny kitten mermaid tail. He would really like never scales. stay in it. <laughs> scales. Oh my God. No, I want to make him like a tiny mohawk. Oh my with like holes for his ears. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> uh, you have to. <laughs> or like a little stegosaurus bit with a little like a little eye cord hole for its tail so it stays on. Genius. Disaster. It's gonna be hell on earth, but great content. So that's what we're all about here at the Babbles Traveling Yarns podcast. Here's from Belfast and Yarn Folk Festival and the Bear and Sheep's Clothing HQ. Catch that make sure to catch their podcast. So we've got Derek behind the scenes and uh, now he's looking guilty because they haven't done a podcast in ages. Now you have no, to do a podcast. But this is technically a podcast. It is. So that's it's all right. A, it's a reappearance. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> so you can just use this one. So that'll give you another, what, month's grace? And then well, you, can, when, you can show, you can do grace. one when you've got a, you know, right. <laughs> Oaks is going to nursery in, in September, so. Oh my gosh. You'll have, have like, like actual time. I hope. Three. <laughs> For three hours a day? What are you going to do with all your free time? Die yarn and not stay up until two o'clock in the morning and podcast. Oh. Like, mm. Hopefully. Don't, Don't make set yourself up too no. much now. Come on. <laughs> Every time we say that, we have to just fall. I know. <laughs> fall flat in our face. Mm. But someday. Someday soon. We'll stop winging it and we'll do it. <laughs> so exciting. Winging it from Bear and Sheep's Clothing HQ in <laughs> Belfast, Northern Ireland. Ireland, Europe, the earth. Carry on. Bye! <laughs> <laughs>